If you're looking for a way to add custom image uploads to product pages in WooCommerce, then I have a quick and very easy solution for you. Many online stores offer personalized products for their customers. Some examples include t-shirt shops that allow you to upload your own designs, jewelry stores that let you customize engravings, and photography sites where you can print your own photos on canvases, mugs, and more. The problem is that on its own, WooCommerce doesn't allow customers to upload files or images. But with our WooCommerce Product Options plugin, you can easily add this functionality. I'll show you an example of this now. So imagine that you sell custom printed t-shirts like this one. To do this, you need to offer image uploading for customers to add a logo or image to the t-shirts. The plugin can add these user-friendly upload boxes. In this case, one for the front and one for the back. You can even add additional charges for these options, which will create new upsell opportunities to increase your average order value. Of course, the plugin does way more than just images, as it can create more than a dozen types of fields for products, allowing for massive customization freedom. In the example here of a business card, we have a drop-down option, radio buttons, the image upload, these text button options, and even more checkboxes for the customers to choose from in order to completely customize the product in any way that they'd like. It's super easy to set up on your site, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment. But to get a copy of this for your own site, you're gonna to need to head to the link in the description of this video. This will come with the zip file for uploading to your website, as well as a license key for activation. And as always, it comes with our 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to giving it a go. Now, I'd like to show you how to set this up on your site. If you're installing the plugin for the first time, go to Plugins, Add New, and click Upload Plugin. Then drag the zip file into this box here, or choose the file from your library, and click Install. Once installed, you'll need to activate the plugin with your license key, which can be done on the Settings page by going to Products and Product Options, and clicking on the Settings tab up here. You can enter your license key here, or if the setup wizard pops up when you install the plugin, you can also enter it there. Then go to the product options tab in the settings, and we need to add a new options group up here. Let's call this one image upload, and we can choose to display this label on the product pages where it will appear, or we can leave it unchecked. Then we need to choose which products to show it on because we don't want it to display globally on all products. So we're going to include the t-shirt and I can choose any other products by searching for them, but one is enough for now. You can also choose to exclude products, but that would only be necessary if you had chosen this display globally option. Now come down here and click add option. Give the option a name and we'll choose the file upload feature. Then scroll down and under choice, we need to give it a label. And this can either have no cost, or you can add a flat fee with a price, for example, $2. Or you can have a quantity-based fee for the number of images, you could have a price. And you can also have a percentage increase or decrease. But in this case, I think no cost for the first image makes sense. Of course, you can write a description, and you can make it required or not. Now, I recommend requiring it if the item that you're selling requires an image for customers to upload. Otherwise, you can leave that unchecked, of course. We will toggle these advanced settings in a moment, but first we just need to save changes. Now we can come down and edit the option, scroll down again, and click on advanced settings. Here's where we can set the maximum file size. I think 20 megabytes is more than enough. And the maximum number of files You'll want to keep that at one unless you have a different type of item that you're selling. And of course, you want to allow the image file types. So JPEG, PNG is fine. No docs, no Excel, and no PowerPoint either. That could be too confusing. PDF might be okay, and maybe WebP as well. You can also make the field conditional. In other words, you can make the file upload box only appear if certain conditions are met. So you could show the images if all or any of the following applies, and you could 
create a separate option. And depending on how that option is set up, then this one would also apply. I'll show you an example of how this looks on screen now using a business card where the field appears after a button is selected by the customer. And of course, remember to save your changes and let's check out how it looks on the product page. And with the option field applied, we can only add the item to our cart once we've uploaded an image that the plugin will accept. So let's try it out. After selecting the images that you want to add, you'll see an Ajax progress bar that reassures the user that the file is uploading. This is particularly important for large image files. And then after a buyer completes the order, the store owner will receive an email with a link to the image they uploaded. The link will also be available in the orders tab of the WordPress dashboard. Make sure to test everything out. And if you ever need help, be sure to contact our amazing support team here at Barn2. I've left a link below in the description for you just in case. So that's the easy way to add custom image uploads to your WooCommerce store. Remember, the plugin is linked in the description of this video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to learn about more ways that you can customize your own WooCommerce store. For example, I made an entire video about the custom pricing calculator, which also comes with this very same product options plugin from this video. Click here to see that. And of course, thanks for watching.